<laughs> so here we are again, and I'm introducing five more superb young emerging artists. The first person that is going to be playing for you this evening is Esteban Castro. Esteban is only 19 years old. He's from Milford, Pennsylvania, and he is currently a student of Ted Rosenthal at Juilliard. And he also studies privately with Fred Hirsch. He is a student of classical as well as jazz piano. He won the pre-college Philharmonic Concerto Composition at Manhattan School of Music, playing the Prokofiev Piano Concerto No. 1. And he has won numerous other competitions, both classical and jazz. And he's performed at many important jazz venues, including right here at Dizzy's. Am I, am I telling the truth? Am I? OK. So he is a young Steinway artist, ladies and gentlemen. So please welcome Esteban, Esteban Castro. How are you feeling? Pretty good. A little yeah. nervous. Yeah? A little nervous? A little bit, yeah. That's good. That's good. Let me ask you a question before you get started. You're studying privately with Fred Hirsch. Yes. Well, how did that happen? Um, actually, um, one, of the, uh, one of the other finalists, uh, Mr. Kalen Cardello, actually uh, kind of introduced us. Um, and I started studying with him when I was 13. And it's been a great journey. I've learned so much from him. Um, so yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. I think that is absolutely wonderful. All right, my dear, I don't want to keep you. What are you going to be playing for the people this evening? Yeah, I'm going to uh, start out with a piece written by Cole Porter called Get Out of Town. And then I'm going to continue with an original called My Native Shore. Okay. Yeah. All righty. So ladies and gentlemen, Esteban.
Wow. That was absolutely astounding. Well, I'd like to introduce you now to Paul Cornish. He's 25. He's originally from Houston, Texas, but he now lives in Winnetka, California. He has an undergraduate degree from the University of Southern California and a master's from UCLA. Paul has been the winner of several jazz competitions, including the Jacksonville Jazz Competition in 2021 and the American Jazz Piano Competition in 2018. He has performed with numerous international jazz artists, including me. Me. I met Paul when he was a Herbie Hancock Institute of Jazz performer. Um, he was a pianist with uh, that, that uh, fellowship program, and uh, I was quite impressed with his work, so I asked him to accompany me for a show that I did in Los Angeles, and we had a splendid time, and he impressed everyone that was there. So he is a Yamaha young performing artist, and I would like to introduce you to him now, Paul Cornish. So, Paul, yes, <laughs> what are you going to do for us tonight? Uh, I'll be playing a composition by Benny Golson entitled Along Came Betty. Oh. And then I'm going to go into Dolphin Dance by Herbie Hancock. Oh. Oh, y'all know it. Okay. <laughs> we like those choices. <laughs> Along Came Betty. Yes, ma'am. I like that. Why? Uh, I just think it's a great, great tone, um, and uh, yeah, I, I think there's a lot to explore in it, so I'll okay. try to do some of that. Okay. So. I kind of can figure out why you chose Dolphin Dance. So. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave you to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Cornish. Thank you. 
Hello. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, I got to talk because I'm like a little nervous. So I'm just like, but I know it's just it's family in here, so I feel better. Yeah. Um, I just want to say it's a it's an honor and privilege to um, play in front of people, <laughs> but especially all of you here tonight. Um, there's some great heroes of mine in the audience, and um, it's just a blessing to be able to present music um, for for a new audience and in New York and in Dizzy's on this amazing piano. So thank you to APA and to Dizzy's for making this possible. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, my name is Paul, as uh, Miss Bridgewater said, and uh, this will be my last tune of the set, uh, Dolphin Dance by Herbie Hancock. Thank you. 
Paul Cornish, ladies and gentlemen. That was lovely. Now, our next pianist is Kaylin Cardello, 21 years old, but has a birthday in a few days when he will be the big number 22. Many of us remember those days. Kalen was born into a musical family in Teaneck, New Jersey. He studied both jazz and classical piano. He just graduated from William Patterson University, studying with a dear friend of mine, Bill Sharlap, and David Kikowski. He was part of Jazz House Kids for seven years. We have to acknowledge the founder, Melissa Walker, who is in the house. And Kaylin won the 2021 BMI Foundation Future of Jazz Masters Award. And he has played with many jazz greats, including, you guessed, uh, <laughs> I, 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 like, I like young musicians, I do. I really do. And um, it's always an honor to work with such fine, fine musicians. So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the stage, Kaylin.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Like Paul, I'm going to talk for a minute because I'm very nervous. Um, <laughs> um, I just wanted to say a couple of thanks. Um, for, well, before that, um, that song that I just played was a uh, classic Cole Porter song entitled Anything Goes from the uh, famous Cole Porter musical Anything Goes. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I would like to say thank you. Well, first, I'm uh, so honored to be a part of this. Uh, I remember we, we, we were thrown so much information uh, at us today. So, and, and I feel so, so overwhelmed, but in such, a, such like the best way possible. Um, and I was telling someone earlier today that I remember seeing uh, videos of, of Emmett and Sullivan playing as a part of this competition like three, four years ago. And I was like, yeah, like, you know, maybe in, maybe in like 10 years I'll try out for this or something. And I had no idea that in three years that I would be here where I am right now. And, and so, I, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. So it's, it's a huge honor. Um, there are so many incredible people in this audience right now um, who have influenced me, who uh, um, mentored me and, and helped me develop, you know, like Melissa Walker and Jazz House Kids. They're like the reason I'm the musician I am today. Thank you guys so much dearly. My, my peers, Isaiah Thompson and Esteban, you know, we grew up, we watched each other grow up. Um, so it's amazing to be able to, to share the stage with, with such amazing pianists as well as, you know, Paul and Thomas. Um, and just a quick shout out, thank you so much to uh, Joel Harrison, uh, Joanne, um, uh, Peter Morat, all, all the, the behind the scenes and the people who make this stuff possible, as well as Dizzy's and the staff and the waiters and your bartenders, everyone <laughs> making this possible. Thank you guys so much. With that being said, uh, I'm going to close out um, my set with a, a beautiful ballad that I love playing um, uh, by Jimmy Van Heusen entitled Darn That Dream.
beautiful. You know what is wonderful listening to these young pianists is how we can hear their individual personalities come out in the music that they're playing. It is a wonderful thing, absolutely wonderful. Well, next to play is Thomas Linger. Thomas is 28, and he lives in the New York area. He's originally from North Carolina. His undergrad degree came from the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, where he studied with John Salmon, who is a former APA winner. He has had additional studies with our dearly beloved Barry Harris and Fred Hirsch. He's the 2017 winner of the American Jazz Piano Competition, and he's collaborated with many jazz artists, including most recently Peter Bernstein at the Village Vanguard. Thomas leads his own trio. So let's welcome to the stage Thomas Linger. <laughs> Thomas, can I ask you what you are going to perform for us this evening? Well, of course. Okay. Well, I'm going to start with a piece that I think is very pertinent to what we all are kind of needing today and these days. I'm going to start with the McCoy Tyner ballad. This is called Search for Peace. Mm. So. Very beautiful. Okay, I will leave you to it.
thank you all so much. How are y'all doing tonight, by the way? I didn't get a chance to ask you. Good. It's so nice to see all of you here, and I just want to say thank you for coming and supporting this, and thank you to the APA. I'm really uh, honored to be a part of this, and I'm just thankful that such an organization exists in the first place. What a, what a blessing that is. And thank you to everyone here at Dizzy's and, and Live Streamsville, everyone tuning in. And that will segue into my next tune that I'm going to play for you, which is an original composition, and it is entitled A Lovely Encounter, which is what I'm having right now with all of you. So I hope you enjoy.
So that was Thomas Slinger. Wonderful, wonderful work. Well, our next and final pianist in our first set this evening is Isaiah Thompson. Isaiah is 26. He grew up in New Jersey, and he is a graduate of Juilliard. He was a member also of Jazz House Kids for six years. Yes. He won second place at the 2018 Monk Competition, and he is the winner of the 2014 National Young Arts in Miami, among several other honors. Isaiah's had many performances nationwide and internationally as a pianist and as leader of the Isaiah Thompson Trio. I think it's time for you all to meet Isaiah. How are you feeling, young man? It's a lot of people. <laughs> it's a, it, is, it, 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 it is a lot of people. But doesn't that make you feel good? Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I feel, I, no I, I feel very grateful to be here. Yeah? yeah. Yes, yes, ma'am. Good. Isaiah, what are you going to play? What's the first number? Um, I'm going to play something that I wrote. Um, oh, good. Maybe I can explain some of it. Um, that's Would okay. You? Okay. That's all right. All right. I'm going to leave you the sure. stage of course. to do that. Of course. Of course. Thank you. I'm just going to fix this. Sorry. See, the problem is I'm, I'm all leg. So when I sit, yeah, see, when I sit down, I'm shorter than everybody else. That's my problem. Um, I'm going to, uh, maybe I can explain it first. So there was this, there was this dance done in the, in the South of America called the Cakewalk. Right, and this dance, um, it was done by the enslaved person, um, and it was kind of mocking the slave owner, right? And uh, the slave owner didn't know that. In some cases, they did, which is a whole other conversation. But uh, sometimes um, we listen to black music, you know, we don't understand why it, why it sounds the way it sounds or why it feels the way it feels, right? So this is something I call the cakewalk dilemma.
it's uh it's hard going last. That's not a that's not an easy thing to do. But you know, as I was you know trying to cope with the fact that I was going last, they said, "Don't worry. Next set you get to go first. <laughs> oh, great. You know, <laughs> you know. Uh, so um, I'm gonna play one more for you. If that's okay. Uh, this is something else that I wrote a number of years ago. Um, and uh, in short, it's uh, something to do when you feel like there's nothing else to do. So this is entitled, A Prayer.
Isaiah, Isaiah Thompson. Beautiful. Isaiah, would you mind if I call your, your fellow finalists to the stage to join you? So, Thomas Linger. Well, there's Kaylin Cardello, Paul Cornish, Esteban Castro. And here's Thomas, Thomas Linger. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for these fine young men in the first half of our evening together. Wonderful gentlemen, wonderful. Take a bow. <laughs> All right, thank you so much.